Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Minister Doc Tucker back at you with a word. Thank you, Father God, for another wonderful day. You know, I wanted to come back and and, and give you a word this morning. Uh, and you already know where I'm going with this. You already know. You know, I need you to go into the, I need you to get your Bibles and go with me into the book of Matthew chapter 24. Yes, you know where I'm going with this. I know you know where I'm going with this. And there's so many people are being deceived. There's so many people um, being, uh, you know, just tricked or just whatever, you know, and, and, and the word of God talks about certain things and I'm going to read it again. I've read it before. But I'm, I'm, but, but I'm led to give it again. I, I, I need to give it again. I need to take my time and be more slow with it. And I want you to get your Bibles. I want you to pick your Bible up and read it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, uh, so you will know everything that's going on right now. I'm going to read it to you out of the Bible. I'm going to read it to you. And, and just in this one chapter, this one chapter and this one chapter. And I want you to go get it for yourself. You know, and I'm and I'm talking about and for those that don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, today is today. If you hear his voice, not to harden your heart, not kick against him, all you have to do is say, I surrender. All you have to do is confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Lord is Jesus Lord and Savior in your life. All you gotta confess that God raised him up in three days and while he died on the cross and raised God raised him up for three days in three days, and confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in your life and that's and tell the Father God that you surrender and to send you help. And he'll do that. There's so much going on right now. And people are and people are study running toward money. They study running toward sex. They study run everything, everything that's of the world, people are study running to it. Mm. Mm. But one thing about it, God said that he would supply all of my needs according to his witness and glory of Christ Jesus. I don't look to anybody for anything. I look to the Lord our God. But I want you to get your Bibles and go with me into the book of Matthew chapter. We're going to start reading chapter three. We're going to start reading chapter three. And by the way, I don't have the copyright to this music that's playing in the background. Wonderful music. You need to listen to it when you inbox me and I'll, and I'll tell you what it is. Because when you ain't doing it in the house and you just don't want to watch no TV and you put that in and you, know, you put that the music on it it, 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 it sets the tone for your house, calms your house down. But uh, yeah, Matthew chapter 24, we're going to start reading in verse three. And it reads, as he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Where are we right there? This is the signs of the end of the age. And Jesus answered and said to them, he's talking to you and he's talking to me. Whenever it says that in the Bible, he's talking to you and he's talking to me. Yes. He said that he said, he said to them, take heed that no one deceives you for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. Mm, I'm not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, mm, and kingdoms against kingdoms. Look at Ukraine and, uh, and Russia. Man, look at this. Mm, man, check this out. And there will be famines, pestilence, COVID-19, in earthquakes in various places, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. That's why it's important for me to tell you to, to place your hands in Jesus' hands. Sorrows. You know, sorrows. I'm talking about, man, you talking about going through. I'm talking about you thinking that life, is the, 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 the storms of life is hard. We're talking about sorrows. Man, look at that. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. That's what's going on now. 
people that know the love has grown cold. People are hating people just no for no reason. I remember I remember that my mama said my mama told me uh, my mama told me one time. She said, "Son, you don't have to don't done anything to anybody for them not to like you." She said, "People do that on their own. People lie." She said, "People will lie on you too." <laughs> you know what I just and you know I'm to my age. Little sister boy, she gave I'm to my she gave the blueprint. Yeah, I said, little sister. <laughs> my family folk know what I'm talking about. I want to call them. They call my mama little sister. But you know, I just I miss little sister. And said verse eleven. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Mm. Yeah, you know. I, I used to be in the church. I'd be sitting back in the church and I'd hear people say, I prophesy over you. And I, and what comes to mind is, and I'm not going to kick against, I'm, I never kick against God. But in the, in, in the word of God, in the Bible, the prophet, God always sent the prophet. The prophet didn't go on their own. He, he sent the prophet to tell the prophet. He told the prophet what to tell. He told the prophet what to tell David when David did wrong. He told him, he, 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 he sent Samuel. He sent Nathan. He sent, I'm talking about, there was a lot of prophets. He sent them. They didn't just pop up and be go to prophesying or folk, speaking in folk lies. Because when you speak into my life, I'm going to pray about it and ask God about it. This is not to point the finger at anybody. This is not to make anybody feel some kind of way. It's not for that. This is to let you know and when people prophesy over your life, when people say, when people speak into your life, you go back and you, you don't say, I, I, I wouldn't say nothing, but I sure go back and pray about it. And never, you never kick against a man or woman of God. You always go back to the Lord, which that you telling me what I'm going to get or what I'm going to receive today. Yes, that's what we do. That's what we do. That's how to keep yourself safe. Because sometimes people will tell you stuff and you get excited and sometimes people will lead you out there and they'll just, they'll take you by the hand a lot of times and lead you on out there. And when stuff and the times get rough, they, 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 and then they pull their hand away from you and you left out there. Yeah. No, we don't, we don't do that. I'm going to pray and ask God, is, is, I'm going to say, Father God, is that you? And if he don't say nothing, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, that's just, yeah, that's just, and I said, I'm not going to worry about it. Verse, verse 13. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Right there. Right there. I want you to go back and get this. I'm talking about, I want you to go back and get this. There is so much going on right now. And you go back and get it. Go back and, 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 and you know, people say, you know, you got some people that get into the book of all. Uh, Revelation and they try to discern what's going on. But the Bible says that no man or nobody, nobody knows the day or the hour. This is the instruction. This right here is the instruction. But I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to go on and keep reading until verse 15. And it said, therefore, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet standing in the holy place, whoever reads, let him understand. Get understanding. Understand what you're reading. Desolation. Well, I'm to my, I'm to my man. You have, you have, you have. Well, I'm to my. You have all kind of stuff going on. You have the LGBTQ, whatever that stuff going on. You have gays and lesbians. You have all kind of stuff. And the word talks about it. God kicks against it. He speaks against it, and he says it's an abomination. But we wrapped up into our feelings. I'm not telling you not to love anybody. I'm not saying that. But the word of God is the word of God. And a lot of people don't want, well, you know, you can't say nothing to hurt nobody feeling. He said, preach the word, preach it. He ain't say, he didn't say feel any kind of way. He said, give the word. Verse 16, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who, let him who is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. We have, you know what I'm saying? As men and women of God, are you preparing to flee? Are you, when the Holy Spirit said go, are you prepared to go? Are you prepared to go? Are you prepared to go? Hmm. 
But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter or the Sabbath. That means that when we run in, in flight, my God, for then there will be a great tribulation such as has not been seen the beginning of the world until this time. No, nor ever shall be. And unless those days be shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sakes, those days will be shortened. Look at that. Get this. I, 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 I want you to get this. I want you to get this. I want you, I, I want you got the bed to get it. Go back and read it for yourself. If you read and whatever you're reading, I'm talking about the Bible, you get it, go get it for yourself. You go get this for yourself. Mm. Now, this is now this is this is something. From verse uh 23 all the way to verse what 28. This is very important right here. This is where we're heading at now. Because you got so many people preaching, so many people are prophesying, so many people running on their own and they ain't supposed to be where they in position where they're not supposed to be. But the Bible says you will know them by the fruit that they bear. <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 23. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ or there, do not believe it. For false Christs and prophets, okay now, <laughs> will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand. See, he's talking to you. This Jesus talking. He said, I have told you beforehand. Therefore, if they say to you, look, he is in the desert, do not go out. Or look, he is in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For whoever the carcass is, there are the eagles will be gathered together. I'm going to tell you something. It's a lot going on. Go back and get this word for yourself. I'm talking about you go back and get this word for yourself. Well, I just don't have time. I, I, I just, uh, 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 uh. I, I just don't have time to, because I got to feed my family. I got to go. Okay, that's the, that's on you. Go back and get this word. Go back and get this word. I get men on the Bible. But I tell you, I'm busting loose at the scene. But go back, go back and get this word. Go get it. Read it for yourself. Read it for yourself. I have to study it so yourself approved. I'm to my right here. Just go back and get it. Just read chapter 21. All you got to do is read the chapter of the 20, chapter 21. And, 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 and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to read from 29 through 31. And, yeah. And it said, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be dark, darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers mm, of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of, son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Go back and get this word. Go back and get it today. You ain't doing nothing today. Just, just sit down and read it. Just sit down and get into this. Because when you turn that TV on over there, this is what you're seeing. You're seeing everything take place right now. And you know something? I was sitting here and I was, was texting somebody. And um, I kept hearing uh, thunder and lightning where I live at. I'm thinking, but I don't hear any rain. Mm. I don't hear any rain. <laughs> you know, I'm like, man, what's going on? You know, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, okay, all right. I was going to turn the TV on and see what the weather was like, but I didn't do that. When I and it, when I when I opened the door, it was cold outside. Yeah, it was cold, and it and, and it just stopped. Yeah, 
It just stuck. I didn't hear nothing else. I closed the door back and I was getting ready for this message. And uh and it started, and then it, it just and it and it started back. It started uh, what it was, the thunder and lightning and everything, you know, stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, okay. And then, then I heard the rain come in. I was like, okay, okay. You know, it's so many people are being led astray by people. You know, it's so many people that's being led astray by a whole bunch of stuff. And a lot of times people kick against instructions. The storms of life, people are being led away. You know, people thinking that people can speak a word in your life. And if, you know, I was listening to something yesterday where they was talking about I was watching some uh, yesterday where we were talking about a man was healing people. I think where it was, uh, it was somewhere. I, I might put the video back up, but and I'm thinking, and I didn't hear God in none of it. They're drinking this bottle of water, this bottle of stuff that he has, and he's selling it to them. He's selling it to them, and they drinking it, and it's and he talks about healing high blood pressure and, and all of this stuff, and they talk about the healing AIDS and all of this and all of that. That's what I'm saying to you today. I'm, when I saw this on YouTube, I, 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 I repost. If I can find it again, I repost it. And I was looking. I was sitting there in my recliner, and I was looking at it. And I'm thinking, what in the heck is going on here? False prophets. These people making money. You can't show me in the Bible that Jesus charged anybody for healing and deliverance. I might be wrong. Mine right here. Call me up. Hit me up, hit my inbox, show it to me what he charged or, or, or whatever, or the narrow might or whatever. These people are charging you to pray for you. They charging you to heal you. I'm talking about, man, these spirits and people, the Bible talks about spirits and demons. False prophets, I just read it. And you got this man, these folks lined up all around the corner. They, 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 and it was some, it, it was, it was white uh, in, a, in a drink bottle. And they just selling it for, I don't know how much money. Y'all, man, them folks had so much money and they just sitting on the table. He, he got folks counting his money for him. He walking around and all this, his head all up. Man, I'm telling you, take, take, take your hands out of man's hands. Take your hands out of those demons' hands. Them spirits, them false prophets, them false preachers. Take your hands out of their hands and place your hands in Jesus' hands. Why you still have time? Why you why why it's not too late? I'm to my man. I'm to my, I saw this, and I'm thinking you don't believe. You know, sometimes on YouTube stuff, man. I'm to my this stuff hit millions and millions and millions, thousands upon hits. I can't even get I can't even get two or three k. <coughs> this man selling all kind of stuff. People want the people people are believing anything but Jesus. People are believing anything but Jesus. Let me get to you this morning. People are believing anything but Jesus. Anytime you put everything that you got in an individual, who you think made that individual? God is the creator of heaven and earth. He said, let us create man in our own image. And in the image of God, we were created. Of course, we have power. Because he said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So was Jesus. So is Jesus. So are you. People just take it and run with it in a bad way. And they will be judged for it. Yeah, I said it. They will be judged for it. It's so much going on. Turn your TV on. Look at it. The politicians, they fighting over this. They're giving billions of dollars over there to do this and do that. And then the American people are suffering. Crooks. But they will be judged by God. Remember now, God said, do what they say do. God said, God formed the government. I'm telling you now, they will stand before God. I'm telling my man, I, I, I keep trying, I keep trying to tell you. And I'm and I'm and I when I yell it from the rooftops. Place your hands in Jesus' hand before it's too late. All you got to do is say, Father God, I surrender and confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You don't have to jump over any cars or no houses, or you don't have to nobody take you by the hand and they try to do all this other stuff with you. All you got to do is open your mouth. All you got to do is say, I surrender. I guess the decision that you have to make is where you're going to spend the rest of your life. I'm a kingdom kid. I'm going to heaven. 
I'm a kingdom kid. I'm going to heaven. I claim that for me and my family. I claim, I claim that. Whatever they got to go through, my children got to go through whatever they got to get through. I prayed over them and I sealed them in the blood of Jesus. I'm telling everything I'm telling I apply the blood of Jesus. I'm not pray for mine. Are you praying for yours? Somebody had to pray for me to get me here. Just like somebody had to pray for you to get you where you are today. Yeah. Well, I just don't know. Wasn't nobody praying for me, but Jesus calling your name. Somebody had to say your name. Somebody had to say something. But people don't get it. You got to make a, you got to, you got, you going to either love one or hate the other. Choose today whom you will serve. Are you going to serve the Lord our God or are you going to serve the devil? In the Bible, it talks about how God is here. You got every religion down up under God. He is the Lord our God. Yahweh, I'm to my right here, everything up under him. And people are being led astray. People are dying. People are selling their souls. And the hell was not meant for man. But the devil's going to take as many as them as he can. As many of them as he can. I can't go. I'm already spoken for. Come on and go with me. We kingdom kids. Come on, go with me. Come on and go with me. Yeah, I get excited. I can't help but get excited. I don't know of anything in this world that I can boy, that I can be excited about. I don't get excited over my kids. I don't get excited over family. I don't get excited over phone conversations. I don't get excited over money. I don't get excited over nothing but Jesus because I see him in my life and I live every day in expectation for what he's doing in my life and what he's done and what he's doing and where he's moving me to. Come on and go with me. Again, get into the book of Matthew, chapter 24. We'll start reading verse 24. I, I've already read right now, Matthew chapter 24. I, I read all the way to 1 through uh, 3 through um, 31. I want you to get this. I want you to get this. Well, I just ain't got time. Okay, don't complain. Don't complain. How is your faith? If your faith is weak, say, Lord, I believe and help my unbelief. He said it in the Bible. Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Today, if you hear his voice, not to kick against him, not to harden your heart and rebel, don't rebel. The life you may say may be your own. <laughs> I'm telling you. He for real. God is for real. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Give me a coffee. Coffee good. It's morning, boy. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. But can't nobody do me like Jesus, though. That's all I know. Don't know anything else. You know, even me myself, people have lied on me and said things about me and did this and did that, and I still laugh. I'm going to go in and get on my hands and knees and I'm going to say, Father God, look at what they're talking about. Look what they said about me, and I laugh, and I go on by my bed. I'm through letting anybody do cockwheels and flips in my head. Let me say it again. I'm through with anybody doing cockwheels and flips in my head. <laughs> I can't handle that. Everybody doing back bends, you be all messed all up. Oh, no, man. Gone on down the road. I love you. Gone on down the road. But today, I want you to, if you got time, I want you to make time for this. This is what, it don't, it don't take 23 minutes. I don't know. Some people might not, might, might not be able to read that fast, but I know people that study that it takes, it takes them a minute, you know, because they need to get, they need to, hey, they vast in the word. They vast in the word. They get that word. That word is soaking the word. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Today, go back and get mad through chapter chapter um 24. Yes, I started reading from 3 through uh 30, what is it, 30, 31. Go back and get it for yourself. And this is this is something. And I'm praying for you right now. I am praying for you right now. You know what I'm saying? And if this lesson, if this this reading or, or if this word has blessed you. If this word has blessed you and you like this word, you hit like. And if you're not subscribed to Minister Dr. Tucker, please subscribe and hit the notification because it helps the word get out. It helps the word get out, you know, and then that's, you know, that look, it helps the word get out. That, that's, you know, and that's the blessing. See, because when you hit like and subscribe, then God see you. I'm not trying to convict you or make you feel fun. That means that if you don't hit like and subscribe, you don't mean you don't want his word to get out. And I just read this from the Bible. And I read this out of the Bible. So I want to encourage you to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification if you, you know, if, if you enjoyed this word. If this word spoke to your spirit, it spoke to you. Mm -hmm. And if and if any and if by any sorts that the Holy Spirit said donate into a minister doctor, hey, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. He and you know what I'm saying? He said, give. 
inbox me. I'll send you my information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll send you my information. But I tell you what, let's clear this up right here. Clear your mind and your heart. Bow your head. Father God, we come back before you this morning, Father God, and we thank you, Father God, for your grace and mercy, Father God. Repenting for our sins for word, thought, or deed, Father God, I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I bring the person that's watching this video before you, Father God, and we, again, Father God, I thank you for just being a fence around them and fighting for them and their families, Father God. But the word says that you know what they need before they even ask, and while they're asking, Father God, you have already answered, you already took care of, Father God. So today, we say thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the word, Father God, in Matthew chapter 24, Father God, verse 3 all the way to 31, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for this word, Father God. We thank you for chapter 24, Father God. We thank you for the instructions, Father God. We thank you, Father God. And as the person watching this video and they receive this prayer, Father God, allow them to go back today and get it for themselves, Father God. To, to Father God, to vet, to bathe in this word, Father God. To wash this word all over their minds, their heart, and their spirit, Father God. Bless them with a, a, an opportunity, Father God. Speak, Father God, to their minds, their hearts, and spirit, Father God, to get the word, Father God. I thank you, Father God. We thank you for protecting us and watching over us and our families over everything that's going on today, Father God. We see what's going on right now, Father God. We see that what they're trying to do, Father God. But you said that touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. You told them not to be messing with us, Father God. And while we thank you for your protection because you said vengeance is mine and I will repay. We thank you, Father God, for your vengeance on their life behind us, Father God. You are a wonderful God. You are the only true living God. There is no other God. There is no other God. So, Father God, and for the person that's watching this, this video, Father God, I loosen your instructions upon their lives, Father God. I loosen your grace and mercy, your healing your, and deliverance, Father God. Your peace and rest, Father God. Your protection, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Everything and your comfort, for everything that they're believing you for today, Father God. And Father God, we ask you, Father, and we're just going to thank you for it. You already know, Father God, so we just going to go to thanking you for the provisions, Father God, and the benefits, Father God, our finances, Father God, and then just even in our relationships, everything that we got going on, Father God, we thank you, Father God. But you did say that we would have trials and tribulations, Father God, but you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us, Father God, and we thank you, Father God. And the Bible says that you are not a man that you would allow, son of a man that you will repent. Father God, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. We thank you for Jesus, Father God. Father God, if, 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 the, if somebody's watching this video, Father God, and they don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, it's time, Father God. Ignite the fire inside their mind, their heart, and their spirit, Father God. Light the fire, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Because the words that whosoever called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, Father God. Save them, Father God. As they say, Father God, I surrender. I don't want to live for the world anymore. I don't want to live for the devil anymore, Father God. I want to live for you, Father God. And I confess Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins and you raised him up in three days, Father God. I confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Father God, in my life. As they said, Father God, save their lives, Father God. Save them, Father God. We need you, Father God. I'm not going to say they need you. I need you too, Father God. We need you, Father God. Because one thing I know, I can't live in this world without you, Father God. And I know if you take your hand off me, Father God, I'll die, Father God. But I thank you for the person, Father God, that's watching this video, Father God. I thank you for them this morning, Father God. And I'm asking you, Father God, to bless them, Father God. Abundantly, Father God. Not just them, their families, Father God. Their situations and their circumstances and needs and errors in their life, Father God. I'm asking you to show up and show out, Father God. You already been showing out, Father God. But I want you to light a I want you to light a light, Father God. Touch their lives, Father God. As they pray, Father God, and their eyes are closed, Father God. Father God, let it get brighter and brighter, Father God. Brighter and brighter that I speak into their life. Brighter, brighter I speak into their life, Father God. That let them know that you are listening to them, Father God. The love has grown cold, Father God, but <laughs> Father God, the love has grown cold. This world, Father God, is dying, Father God. 
But we are peacemakers, Father God, in this world. And you said, love them as you love yourself, Father God. I love everyone that's watching this video, Father God. But we thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for your blessings of overflowing in our life this morning. And even over our families, even over our households, Father God, even over our jobs, Father God, even over our finances, Father God, over everything that, Father God, that you're over, Father God, which is everything, Father God, I speak overflowing, Father God, in the name of Jesus. You are a wonderful God. You are a marvelous God. You are the only true living God. There is no other God. And, Father God, for you I live, Father God, and for you I die, Father God giving you all the praise, honor, and the glory, Father God. We thank you, Father God, giving you all the praise, honor, and the glory, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I thank God for you this morning. And if nobody has told you that they love you, I love you. Yeah, I'm looking directly at you. I love you. <laughs> He don't love me. Okay, well, you do whatever you got to do. <laughs> you know what I'm going to tell you? I love you. Whether you're in my family or you're not in my family, you know, I, I still love you. You know? And if you feel like um, something going on in your life right now and you feel like that you have uh, uh, offended somebody and, or, you know, sometimes we offend people and just don't care. We just go ahead and go on. God said, forgive. God said, go back and beg their pardon. Go back and, but I ain't going back and begging anybody. I go, I always go back and ask people to forgive me. When you sin against a person, ask God, ask, ask go back and, and say, please forgive me. If I have sinned against you, please forgive me. I've said it to people and people have never said it to me. And I, and I, and, and I laugh about it because God speaks to you. Then God will speak to you. Don't you feel any kind of way? You do what he said. He said, if you forgive men their trespass, he will forgive yours. And you have trespassed. You might not, everybody might not have seen you. God saw you. God saw you when you did it. So they don't need to, they don't need to try to hide it. They don't need to, that's why we had to be always repenting for asking God to forgive us because he know, he know that he, he know what's on the inside of us at times. He know that we, we going to get it wrong. And I'm going to be transparent, which I get it wrong all the time. But I know that I have a God that's faithful. That when I go to him and confess my sins, I know he's going to forgive me. I don't look to man for anything. For nothing. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things shall be added. I speak it into your life today. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Yes, continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. Mm -hmm. Continue to keep your hands in Jesus' hands. I love you. Yes, God loves you. So do I. God bless you and your family in the wonderful and holy and mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. Share this video with a friend. Amen, amen, and amen.